Hello, and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This yarn is called Wool of the Andes by Knit Picks. This 100% Peruvian Highland wool yarn features 97 colors to choose from, including solids and heathered colorways. The colorway we chose is Mink Heather, a darker heathered oatmeal color. This 50 gram skein with 150 yards works up as a medium or worsted weight yarn. In today's video, we're going to review and score Wool of the Andes by Knit Picks using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you and your next project. Let's get started. For availability, we give Wool of the Andes a score of 1.5 out of 5. This yarn is exclusively sold on the Knit Picks and We Crochet website. However, they do currently offer shipping to the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, and Australia. From a knitter's perspective who likes to see the colors of yarn in person first before making a decision, I wish I was able to see all of the colors in a shop or even on a color card instead of trying to make a decision just by looking online. For softness, we give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. This rustic yarn is what I describe as a wooly feeling yarn. It's not the softest yarn out there, and with my sensitive skin, I found myself needing to take breaks from knitting with it. The 100% Peruvian Highland wool content of this yarn has a micron count or softness scale rating of approximately 27. When knitting, often I can tell right away how itchy yarn is going to be. I have worked with Peruvian Highland wool before, but this particular yarn is unfortunately the line between being too rustic for my hands to work with. For traction, we give it a score of 4.5 out of 5. This yarn knitted up well for me, not too slippery and not too much grip on my nickel plated needles. Due to the Corydale and Merino breed mixture of Peruvian Highland wool, it features a longer staple fiber length, making it much easier to spin than Merino wool for example. You can see this in its high twist count and what I experience when knitting with it. This four ply yarn didn't have any issues with splitting or coming apart. For durability, we give it a score of 4.5 out of 5. Because it's not superwash treated, you will need to hand wash your garments made with this yarn. The qualities of Peruvian Highland wool allow this yarn to have an increased amount of strength and is hardier than, for example, merino yarn. As the nature of wool, you may have some pilling and could experience some felting in high friction areas, so something to keep an eye out for. For cost, we give it a score of 4.5 out of 5. For being a 50 gram skein, you can expect to pay $3.79 US per skein. This breaks down to about 3 cents per yard, meaning a size medium sweater would cost approximately $38 US, making this yarn the most budget friendly yarn we have reviewed so far. Overall, we give Wool of the Andes by Knit Picks a score of 3.7 out of 5. This yarn is a workhorse and will last a long time if you take care of it. If you live in the United States and like working with rustic feeling wool for an inexpensive price, this would be a great option if you aren't super sensitive to wool. And if you're wanting to use this yarn but it's not the right weight for your project, Knit Picks offers different versions of their popular Wool of the Andes line, including Sport, Tweed, Superwash Worsted, Bulky, Superwash Bulky, Roving, and Curated Color Packs. Have you used Knit Picks Wool of the Andes yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed our review, please like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.